man i just love the colors on my r36s they are so vivid and so bright so i'm gonna share a secret with you the way that i was able to get those vivid and nice colors the way that i do it is you have to go into the into the uh, retro arch settings okay and you're gonna go to shaders okay and after that well first you have to make sure that they are enabled that's got to be green uh, of course it's going to vary depending on the uh, retro arch menu that you have but you have to enable the shaders okay and then what you do is you load your first preset and the first preset that i do is i go to load preset then shaders and then i go down to the interpolation folder which is this one and the first shader that I choose is sharp, uh, sharp by linear two times prescale. I choose that one first, okay? Then after you do that, it will actually show on your screen right here. It's, it's gonna say something different, like it shows stock.glsl, but it's the one that I was telling you. And then what you do is to choose the second one, you have to go to append preset then you click on that okay and what you do is you go to shaders again and then you go to miscellaneous okay and you're gonna find the shader that's called image adjustment okay so you choose that one and then after that one gets loaded it'll show up on your shader screen okay and it's that one right there but you're not done yet what you do is you go to shader para parameters okay and what i did on this one i don't like messing around with all the settings the only one that i change is the one that says saturation okay the default value is 1.00 so i raised it to 1.70 you can adjust it however you like whatever you you prefer you can go higher or lower and actually you can mess around with all those settings if you want but every time i try doing that i always mess it up and i end up going to default the only one that i like to change is saturation so after you do that you go back over here and you apply your changes okay after you apply your changes you can either go back to the game and keep on playing or you can save the preset and what i do the first time is I go in here and then I click on save shader preset as and what it does it saves it on the list that way if you ever want to use it on another game or if your uh, game for some reason removes the shader you can find it very easily and you can also do save game preset and what that will do is it'll save that shader to this particular game okay so after you do that then you come over here and then you apply the changes again. And after you apply the changes, you go back to your game. Oh, actually, let me show you where that shader is. So, let me see. If you go to load preset, okay? The one that you saved would be right here. Like for example, the I saved it and I called it my fave. So if I ever wanna use that preset again, all I gotta do is go to that list, click on that, and it'll uh, do that that, uh, that shader that I made. And then you just go back to your game. And continue playing. Look at how beautiful those colors are. It's just amazing. So hopefully this video will help you if you wanna try to improve the quality of uh, picture on your games and let me know if you like it and if you have any questions uh, let me know